why did the guitarist <clears throat> buy a bass? Because there's no freaking bass players around when you need them, and I figured I'd just put my own bass lines on my own originals. First off, this is a Sterling by Music Man sub series Stingray 5 HH. So, five string, two humbuckers. Uh, pretty cheap. It was three ninety nine. Of course, I got sixty dollars off because I ordered Lake Plat or Lake Blue Metallic, and this is. If you look at it here, it's kind of a gray metallic. In person, that's all you see. Now I can fool around with the light a little bit, and you might catch a blue, but for the most part, it looks nothing like the photos. And. Uh, <clears throat> In my experience, most of the times when you get a guitar and it doesn't look like the photos, it usually looks better in person. And this, in person, has no blue in it. Not a big deal because I don't plan on gigging or anything with the bass and the guitar, so. But they did knock 60 bucks off because I wasn't happy with the color. And the only other choice was olive green. Now let's get to... Uh, the likes and dislikes. I like it. Neck feels great. Um, pickups sound pretty mean. The only thing I didn't like is um, there's a couple rough spots in the neck. Like you can feel where it just needs to stand down a bit, but I'm not going to complain about that, especially at $3.99 minus the $60. Bucks. Um, even on the expensive ones, I see that they have a pickup or the output jack right here on the pickguard. It's just kind of a, seems like it's going to break, but even the expensive ones have it. Like, I saw one for like 2500 bucks, the Music Man, and it's there, whatever. But the nut, that's my main issue, is because the neck, the setup, the neck is perfect. It's got the perfect amount of relief and everything, but the action up past the 12th is a little high. Not impossible. I mean, you can still play and... You know, you can get all the stuff you need, you know, if you're going to do that. You know, you're good there. Just like it to be a little lower, but I can't make it lower because if it goes any lower, it's going to be buzzing on these. You know, it's kind of, I set it up just a hair to keep it from super buzzing on the frets there. Um... But really, that's the biggest deal. But, you know, get a nut and replace it. Just cut it. Make it a little higher. Whatever you need. Can't be that much. Um, Sound-wise, you know, let's go full bridge. You know, pretty mean. Next position, it's got a clickier sound, but the bass goes away. But it's still cool if you need it. And my favorite happens to be in the middle, which is both pickups. The first, when it was in the second position, I think it's supposed to close so and get like the two outer coils or the two inner coils on. But anyway, middle is uh, both unbuckers, which is what I've been using for my originals. Up, it's a little clankier, less bass in it though because it splits and now it's the inner coils, I believe. And then we got neck humbucker full. Just got your good bass. Hello, Zachy, Zachary Grimlock. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm playing bass, not guitar. It's weird. Yes, it is. It's weird, isn't it? All right. Um, I do have a sound that's kind of a weird high endy thing that I'll probably use from like some weird metal stuff. But you know, it's kind of. I'm not a bass player, man. Don't claim to be, but uh, just giving you my thoughts. Um, the color is not what I expected, um, but you know, actually, I'm, I'm kind of glad it's more of the grayish tone and not blue. Uh, change up, paint the pick guard or something to make it look really cool. And you know, just maybe the action thing. Um, change the nut out, and you should be good to go on that. But I'm not really going to be up here running anything, you know. You know, 
it's not like I want to be playing some guitar pages on a bass for any reason. Just got it because I need a bass player because there's not around here. Anyway, thanks for watching my slight weird rant slash review and introduction to my cat. Forgot to say this in the beginning. Welcome to the Scott Payne YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. Help me out. Please. Just anything. But anyway, I got other uh, oddball reviews on my Gibsons and everything, so come and check it out. You might like it. I think you'll like it. Yeah.